They plotted together to blow up the Route 82 bridge over the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Today, they learned their punishment for it. A judge sentenced three of the five bridge bomb plot suspects today. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska has been following this story since the first plan was first uncovered and was in court today. Here's Paul. Leon, three of the men sentenced today face between 8 and 11 years in prison, and they are now classified as terrorists. Federal prosecutors called Douglas Wright the ringleader. He got 11 years today. Brandon Baxter got nine years, and Connor Stevens got eight. Defense attorneys claimed a paid FBI informant with a criminal record came up with this plan and pushed the former group of Occupy protesters into trying to carry it out so federal officials can say they're winning the war on terrorism. Federal prosecutors say the men were dangerous indeed and wanted to kill innocent people. Judge David Dow said it all came down to intent, not whether the group had the means. Defense attorneys disagreed. We have to have a better policy in this country in how to deal with uh, the FBI and the power that they have. Although we asked for a, a higher sentence than, than we got today, um, it should be lost on no one that these defendants are going to spend a decade of, of, life in pr of their life in prison. Uh, the judge found that they engaged in terrorist acts, and uh, that should send a clear message to anyone who wants to engage in these types of activities that there will be serious consequences. Prosecutors wanted more than 25 years in prison. All three suspects are expected to file appeals. Leon? Thank you, Paul. Here's a look back at how all this unfolded. A paid criminal informant told the FBI a group of self-proclaimed anarchists was planning an attack in Cleveland. The feds say the five defendants bought what they thought were bombs from undercover FBI agents. On the night of April 30th, the suspects placed those devices at the base of the Brexville-Northfield high-level bridge. But instead of watching the bridge blow up, they were arrested.